I'm PJ Matavish and welcome back to another DC tutorial. This one we're doing question A1 from the 2016 paper. So we're doing this before the marking schemes come out so that you might get a better idea as to how you did yourself. Uh, as I said in the review, section A should have been a great section for everyone because nice handy enough questions. Alright, so we'll do the development one first. So the image uh, below shows the details of a curved metal shade uh, for a set of traffic lights. The shade is based on a cylinder which is truncated and shaped as shown. The drawing shows a circular end view and the elevation of the shade. The incomplete surface development of the shade has been projected beneath the elevation of A, complete the surface development and then B, find point B. So we do the surface development first. Now if you look at this, for a higher level, look at all the details they've given you. They've divided up the uh, end view here, 3060 and then uh, slightly smaller again for the bottom curve there. They brought those points over to the outline of the elevation, project it down and it found your points. So maybe what we should do is label what they've given us. Okay, so we can start off down here. Okay, so we're starting off with zero, working our way around. Let's lay the label those. Okay, so they've gone a bit smaller there. But you see here, these are equal distance because that's how you uh, do your development. You have to get an equal distance. So the distance from uh, 4 to 5 will be the same distance from 2 to 4 and 0 to uh, 2. So they marked it down. So that's why we've gone 0, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we've gone from 10 to 12 and 14. All right, and you see here they brought 7 across. Found the height for 7, that's 0.7. Brought across the height for 8 and 6, so on. They've done the same for uh, 5 and Two, so let's put in the rest now. Okay, so we're bringing down our points. This is a uh, point zero there at the base and point 14 then we have point 2 and 12 so here and here this one then is points uh, 10 and 4 which you see there 4 and 10 now the reason they split it up is because they're giving you this big gap from here to there all right so i'll put in one of them i won't bother the other one because you get it freehand enough from there to there but i'm going to show you to put in one so to get that gap there say from 4 to 3 all right you get the distance on your compass on the end view, mark that backwards here from four. Basically, it should be dead center. Project that across, bring point three across to the elevation, and project it down. Let's give you point three. All right, just to help you with the curve. Okay, and that's your surface development of the shape. Okay, so part A. Now part B, point P on the surface of the cylinder is shown in the elevation, locate the point in the end view and on the surface segment. So it's kind of giving you the steps by which to find it, all right? So to find it in the end view, just project it over to the end view. It doesn't say whether it's in the front or the back, but we're assuming it's in the front because you can see it there. So we're putting point P and it's on the edge because it's on the surface. So point P has to be here. How do I find it in the plan? or on the surface of element, it's going to be directly below this one, so bring it straight down. Where it's going to be then? We'll look at it in the end view, it's between points 5 and 6. So if I get the distance from 5 to 6 there, on the, or distance from 5 to P on the outline, mark it in between 5 to 6, it'll give me point P on the surface of element. And that's point P then on the surface, because it was on the edge here, you get the gap between it and 0.5 or 0.6, whichever one you want. Mark it in here on the same points in the plan. So distance from 5 to P, draw it across, bring it down from the elevation, and that's your point P. Nice straightforward question. 
So hopefully everyone was happy enough for that one. I'm going to move on. I'll do the rest of the short questions. I'll go through section B then. So I'll upload them as I get them done. It might take a while. It might be might get one or two questions up every week. So uh, again, I hope that helped. If it did, please leave a like. And we'll see you in the next one.